chat at a time. Hi guys, and thanks for tuning in to episode two of Keeping the Arts Alive, One Chat at a Time. We are so lucky today because we have not only one guest, but we have two. So we have Luca Caruso and Delilah Montague talking all things music, and it is a treat of a chat. So please like, share, and enjoy. Hi guys, thank you for joining us today. We're so excited to have you both. Hiya. How are you guys, all right? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you so much for chatting to us. So, let's start with, how did you guys first come about? Pretty much straight away started playing together, I guess when I was probably about 13 or 14. Oh, that's young. Um, The first, I think the first song we ever played together was uh, a song by Ricky Lee Jones called Chucky's In Love. Uh, Great song. Yeah, Steve Gadd on drums. That was that was my intro to Mr. Steve Gadd. So, um, so that was like the first. I think one of the first, and I think it was just for a school show. We were looking at your Instagram actually today, and we saw we went to scroll back quite a bit, and we saw <laughs> a recording of you guys during lockdown. Um, it was I Miss LA. So, how did that come about? Um, that came absolutely out of nowhere. It was like we were working on another song. The I still think has legs. Delia doesn't think it has legs, but I still think it has legs. We were working on another song um, that was <laughs> that was kind of it. It was cool, but it was like we were chipping away and chipping away and chipping away, which sometimes ends up working. But um, you can't really beat that thing of a song starting and finishing in like half an hour or less. Um, so Delilah, how did you did you kind of write the lyrics first for that, or did you write them, Luca? Like, how did that come about? Luca had the chords and we were it, yeah it was like the end of the day and we were just in my studio here mm. and, um, he was just playing around the chords and I just kind of started singing along didn't I and like it was really weird it was which in a nice way and it kind of happens quite rarely that you get it all at once like the melody, yeah like the lyrics just kind of came out there was one one line in it where it was like this is like a vintage Delilah Montague moment where <laughs> something just something just land it was a lyrical moment where it just landed and it really like rounded off because there isn't really a chorus or a verse to that it's not really like it kind of has a bit of like jazz structure to it like in, in the sense of like it kind of repeats the same section twice and then there's a little what maybe in pop or songwriting could be called a pre or in jazz could be called like a B or a bridge or whatever. <laughs> and so those, it kind of just happened. And then Delilah like rounded off this little journey with this one line. And that that sort of moment happened twice. Luke. And the second time it happened, I, I literally was like, I just left the piano and just ran out of the room. I was like, oh, this, is, this is unbelievable. <laughs> This is it. I'll, this I'll is send it. you. I'll I'll send you guys that 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 snippet actually. Yeah, yeah you should. Great. That'll be really good. It's quite too. funny. There was no like staging to it. It was just utter shock. Yeah, I love that. Love They're that. kind of the best. Yeah, the best moments, aren't they? When mm. you're like, this is happening. This is it. Totally. <laughs> so talking about the EP moving forward, are you going to kind of continue in that vein? Because obviously this is quite different for you, wasn't it? In terms of you had a lot more control. Yeah, um, I think interestingly i've already written i've already written my next one which is like I don't know, weird i think <laughs> lockdown yeah, kind of time put me on yeah put me on hyper writing mode yeah it's great um, yeah and the next one is very very different but similar but different we were listening to um in gold your ep from 2019 and it's so different to this one yeah like yeah. Do you feel like you just allow whatever comes to you and you just go with it rather than thinking, I want to set out for this particular feel or style. I feel like the way that um, I've been working at the moment is very much servicing the music rather than servicing my idea of yeah. myself and like my idea of what my sound is. Because I think that like by nature, you evolve and you change as an artist. Yeah. Um, with different experiences, you change. And so like, yeah, In Gold is very different. You know, those, some of those songs I wrote when I was like 16, 17. Oh, wow. That's crazy. They're vintage yeah. then. They're great. Do <laughs> <laughs> so you guys hear the songs she wrote when she was 13? No. 
um, and then the CP are very, they're all very raw and emotional and honest. Um, oh, wow. The next one that I'm going to release is all very um, youthful and fun, and it's all kind of based around a story of a weekend. Ooh. I feel like I'm like reliving my youth through my like pre COVID youth through writing this. <laughs> like, really yeah, let's just take back that year, shall we? We'll just take. Yeah. <laughs> Luca, what's on the cards for you next after lockdown or? Um, yeah, I mean, at the moment, um, I'm stepping in a slightly uh, different, slightly cold waters in uh, in having to be responsible for the musical direction of a new artist. Oh. Um, and that is a real challenge because I'm having to learn um, a, a software I already kind of dabbled in called Ableton Live, um, but is to do it to the level of having creative control and sort of freedom, creative freedom rather, not creative control, creative freedom of a live show is really requires knowing the software inside out. Yeah, and which you can't do in a month but it, you can you know just getting familiar so I'm basically just doing that and a lot of programming um and playing a lot of piano as well kind of it sort of came naturally like I don't I've never practiced the piano the same way I've practiced the drums I've just always played it a lot right it just happened not too dissimilar to the drums to be honest but <laughs> but, the, but the piano has been has been something that has always just been for creative like nothing nothing like sort of I've never focused in on particular aspects of playing the piano technically mm -hmm. it's quite nice um, to take that pressure off so, it's just yeah like, it's just always been always been and the writing thing came later but it was basically just learning jazz standards really yeah. Um, yeah. until a few years ago where I started doing other stuff but so you've got some yeah. new things going on then it's very exciting so also yeah, tonight, the Talking to you as well, I saw the interview that you posted on your page about doing like a short film. But that sounds really exciting. Is that kind of new for you as well? Yeah, so that's going to be um, coming out. It's it's based around the EP that I've just released. The that. three that were, like previously on release, we just kind of um, made a kind of visual storyboard around those three songs so it's like a kind of elongated music video um not even music video because the the music behind it is going to be like a soundscape of all of the all of the tracks kind of mushed together Ooh, so, great fun. yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's really exciting it was really fun it's really nice being able to explore what i'm trying what i'm expressing in my music expressing that visually and working with people who direct and who were good in that one being like, and kind of handing it to control and being like what do you see from what do you get from listening to this yeah what, what how interesting was. my friend Flo Florence Kosky who, who directed it is just incredible and I was just like take all creative control because <laughs> like, I can write music but I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Wow. Did it go the way you expected, how you envisaged it? Or was it completely different to what you kind of thought? Kind of different, but better. Yeah. yeah. More beautiful, more visually striking. I'm excited for it to be out because I think, yeah, it's, it's pretty stunning. Wow. When does that come out then? We haven't finished the edit yet, so I can't tell you for sure, but probably... Yeah. Probably in a few in a week or two. Oh wow, wow. that's exciting. We're gonna have to look out yeah, for that one. Definitely. definitely will. Guys, thank you so much for chatting to us today. But before you go, we are asking this to all of our guests. And <laughs> if you were to um arrive on a desert island, classic. <laughs> what <laughs> album, film, and dish of choice that you'd only be able to eat? That dish, no other dish. Fantastic. Should we do it for each other? Should we see if we, we can Ooh, do it yeah. for each other? That's oh, a yeah. good one. Well, go on, Delilah, you can you can expose yourself and see how well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not. Yeah. Um, um, one album. That's, imp I know. that's impossible for me, but I know what yours is going to be. 
I know that you know what mine is. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> That's why you suggested it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say it until you get mine right. Yeah. <laughs> jazz one though. No, no, no. It's not a jazz one. James Taylor. It can it can be one of many albums. James Taylor. Come on. I mean, I love James Taylor, but there is one band that I will always, forever cherish, forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Beach- Which album? Um. <laughs> Gets on Apple Music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> classic. <laughs> I'll tell you which album, Luca. <laughs> In the meantime, what would my dish be? What would your dish be? Yeah. Uh, Abbey Road. No, Sergeant Peppers. Sergeant Peppers. Say that. that would be Sergeant Peppers. Would be would be my yeah. That would be yeah. Anyway, yours your album would be Tapestry yeah. by Carole King. <laughs> Love that. I can't say film. I I don't know really what films you like. Probably like Bridget Jones or something. Yeah, go on. Great film. And uh, I don't know, food. Um, Come on, Luca. <laughs> Pressure. Smoothie. Does that count as food? <laughs> smoothie. <laughs> I don't know. Pizza, probably. Pasta. She's eating pasta, so. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, yeah, I don't know film. I don't know what your film. What would your film be, Delilah? I don't know. I can't say. I don't know. I'm not really a big filmer, to be honest. I don't think you are either. I do like film. I mean, there are there are loads of amazing films, but it, it doesn't click with me the same way that music does. So it's, yeah, it's a different thing, isn't yeah. it? I suppose. Thank you, guys. It's been a thank pleasure. you. Yeah, have an amazing day, and uh, you too. We will catch you hopefully very very soon, and we'll look out for all the work that you're getting up to. Good luck with it all. Great. Thanks for having us. <laughs>